Welcome to this week's Hymn of the Week. This week we have a brief Hymn of the Week. I'm still under the weather, but at least I can speak and I'm going to try to sing this Hymn of the Week, so bear with me. Uh, that way we have the content out here each week. Uh, this week we have ELW Hymn 713, O God of Every Nation. In 1958, William Watkins Reed Jr., see he was born in 1923, won first place in a national hymn writing contest sponsored by the Hymn Society of America, and it was also in cooperation with the Department of International Affairs of the National Council of Churches. This text was published in Hymn Society's 12 New World Order Hymns, and it was sung by the 600 delegates at the opening session of the Interdenominational Fifth World Order Study Conference at Cleveland, Ohio, November 18th to 21st, 1958. So the hymn has slight alterations here textually, but overall, that, this is the text of this hymn. And what's really great about this is the use of some of these colorful chords that I really love. And this first one, which we see on every, would imply a diminished chord. Uh, love those diminished seventh chords. Uh, uh, and that's, uh, as you can see, a, a beautiful uh, diminished chord. And then, um, later in the piece, uh, we also see it again on the word and heal our strife torn. We have the, again, a very simple diminished chord, no diminished seventh there, but lowering a third and the fifth, and some of them, most of them, fully diminished seventh chords. So uh, it creates the, the urgency, I think. I don't want us to think, and I would encourage you not to think of diminished chords as something negative or scary, but instead colorful. And this color encourages us, or is an urging, to really uh, pray this prayer more fervently, that redeem God's whole creation, redeem that with God's almighty hand. So here is, O oh God of every nation, and again, I'll give it my best shot. <laughs> here we go. Yeah. 
Thank you very much for listening to Hymn of the Week.